So not only we have but every clear or the flow, we have higher tire frames and lower tire frames nicely aligning. I don't like to be following the masses. Those type of positions don't play out, or at least it faces a few liquidity shakeout before it actually goes. If you would zoom in and focus on this formation right here, this is exactly what happened on the one hour tire frame. All right, hope you guys are doing well. So today we will be breaking down this short position that we took on Euro dollar on Wednesday during the near kill zone. You can see that we took this position right here in the second half after near kill zone RT window formed a top for us right here. But we will talk about that a bit later. Now, as I always mention, I know that when we are looking at all of these four time frames right here, it could be a little bit confusing and stuff like that. So let's break everything down from the higher time frames all the way down to the execution time frames. All right, so on the daily time frame, I think you guys remember that our main draw liquidity was this old weekly BPR right here. That was pretty nicely lining up with the consequent encroachment of this bullish daily imbalance. So we had ourselves this higher time frame that was right below the close of Tuesday's daily range. So our short position was taken right here on Wednesday, 16th of October. Now, one thing to keep in mind, on Wednesday, we've been already running right here for 16 days. So if we would focus on Tuesday, let's say right here, opening up on Wednesday, looking left, we can see that price already gave a 327 pips move to the downside. So inside of these 15 days, we only had one bullish cool right here, which happened on 8th of October, which was just a simple daily time frame institutional order for entry drill type of a development right here. Obviously, we are not taking entries from higher time frames or anything like that. But this is something that we still pay attention to because a bigger pattern when it's playing out, especially as I think you guys remember that we were aiming for this low right here for the sell side liquidity and price stopped right above it, indicating that here we had a fake low, a fake structure, which instantly indicates that we have a lot of sell side liquidity. So whenever we see price stop very close to a specific drawn liquidity, and let's say right here we have a fair rally gap, you guys know that often price gives us institutional order for entry drill type of a development then picks out that fake low that stopped very close to the main drawn liquidity and then of course it reaches right into the main target right here giving us a short position and this type of development can take place on any time frame higher time frames lower time frames execution time frames some stuff like that so if it happens on daily time frame it's just a simple additional confidence factor for us to keep pushing lower towards all of the sell side liquidity targets that we had for that week so this is what happened here so after this only bullish close candle right here on on 8th of october notice that price literally just melted taking out this sell side liquidity right here it reached into the weekly bullish order block and eventually it just kept on dropping giving us all of these bearish daily candles eventually it took out the sell side liquidity as well but we will talk about that when it will be on lower time frames because from this point of view, it wasn't very visible. But overall, right here on Wednesday, we were opening up expecting for a simple continuation to take place because we were already very close to all of these bullish Peter race, this overlapping week with BPR with the daily fair rally gaps, consequent accroachment midpoint right here. So, so to sum everything up on the higher time frames, we simply opened up expecting for price to just keep on dropping lower towards our name draw liquidity. For those wondering, it's a magnet sign that I'm drawing right here. So don't be confused about that. So when we have everything lining up on the higher time frames, of course, what we want to see after it's for the lower time frames to give us a green light as well. And usually that comes in the form of a clear or the flu. And this is exactly what we want when we have clear alignment on the higher time frames and lower time frames. So in other words, we are moving on the higher time frames towards a specific draw liquidity, bigger draw liquidity that's based on the higher time frames. And then on lower time frames, we can see that price is in a bearish order flow. In other words, it's rejecting bearish PDA race and seeking for sell side liquidity. Comes back, rejects a bearish PDA and seeks for sell side liquidity again. So this is perfect for us to keep on pushing towards this level. And all that we need is for the execution tire frames, which is the last piece of the puzzle, is to align with the time of the day and eventually give us an entry. So this is how most of our A plus positions are born right here. All right, so I think MF said about the beta time frame, let's now go to the lower time frames. And I'm talking about the 60 minutes chart right here. 
So one of the first things to keep in mind, note is that this was our weekly BPR and this dashed line right here was the daily bullish fair value gas consequent encroachment. So this was the area that we were targeting right here when opening on Wednesday. Now notice that this vertical line right here indicates the New York midnight open. So, so right after the open price drop lower, it takes out the sell side liquidity pool that you talked about on the daily time frame, and then immediately blasts higher right here. So in other words, again, what we are seeing was a drop lower consolidation price building liquidity on both sides. Then that momentum kicks in after the near midnight open right here. It runs sell side liquidity of this range and this sell side liquidity pool as well. Then it goes higher, runs the buy side liquidity that was resting right here. It runs right into opposing bearish PDRA and then starts shifting to the downside. Now notice where this low, and I'm talking about this long gun kill zone low right here, notice where it stopped. It stopped literally just a few pips from the high of this weekly BPR right here. So now again, what that indicates, this indicates that this is a fake low. So fake low is equal Tomzok sell side liquidity resting right below this structure right here. So not only we have but every clear or the flow, we have a higher time frames and lower time frames nicely aligning. And not only that we have a higher time frame drawn liquidity right here, we also have a lower time frame drawn liquidity, which was this fake low right here. So I think you guys can see how many bars are nicely aligning for a near TO zone to send the price lower towards all of these draws on liquidity right here. So if we dig even deeper, let me delete all of these drawings. Now notice how the price been pushing lower. If we take this high and this low right here, we have this range. Notice what was the development right here. It was just a perfect bull trap. Price runs sell side liquidity, runs buy side liquidity. With this first move indicates that it's about to continue lower right after it runs the other side of the range. It runs into opposing PDRA right here. It was this hourly bearish or the block right here. And then it attacks the sell side liquidity right here, which on Tuesday was also a fake low because it stopped right above this sell side liquidity level that we talked about. But unfortunately, this run, this expansion happened during the long bunk low skill zone. So we are not looking to take any entries on it. But what comes to Wednesday, we had a very similar formation. I think if you remember my analysis from Wednesday, I will add it somewhere right here on the left. So I think you can see that we were expecting for a very similar formation to take place and everything played out to absolute perfection. So now after this day, it happened right here on Tuesday, over Wednesday, we opened up again doing the exact same development. Fake low, that happened on London kill zone. Price gives a bull trap, runs the sell side, runs the buy side, again into bearish or the block, formed a near kill zone reversal right here, and then attached the long one kill zone sell side liquidity towards the main drawn liquidity what comes to the higher time frames, which on Tuesday was this sell side liquidity level right here. It was gravitating towards this level and long one kill zone low, fake low was acting as another lower time frame liquidity pool and on Wednesday, this exact same thing took place right here as well. Again, so fake low because on Tuesday, notice that Lump until zone closed and started pushing higher away from the higher time frame drawn liquidity, stopping just a few pips above it. And on Wednesday, this exact same thing happened. It started pushing again to the upside away, not reaching into the weekly BPR right here, which was our second main drawn liquidity after this sell side liquidity right here. So two similar formations, this one on Tuesday, this one on Wednesday, lower time frame, bigger bull traps, price generating liquidity, running sell side, running buy side, interposing PDRA, you know, exactly clean reversal, you drop to the execution time frames, waiting for time of the day to align and give us an entry. Then what do we target? Of course, we aim for this fake low right here and the main draw liquidity. I personally on Wednesday just aimed for the fake low, not even stretched to the weekly BPR right here. So on Tuesday, we had this dealing range right here. Price ran buy side liquidity, interposing PDRA, formed a top, drop lower. Then on Wednesday, we have this dealing range now. Price ran buy side liquidity, interposing PDRA, formed a top, and drop lower again. So I hope everything is clear here what comes to the one hour time frame. I mentioned pretty much everything here. So now let's jump to the 15 minute. And here you will see a bit more detail of what we just discussed on the hourly time frame. So now why do I have this marked right here? 
Notice that again that London kills them low. Started pushing away, coming 2.3 pips close towards the week would be PR right here, which was our main draw on liquidity again. So this makes this low right here a fake one. It makes a fake low. And on top of that, it also left some low resistance signs right here because we had one low and very close structures slowly pushing higher to the upside. So in other words, we had a massive sell side liquidity pool right here, which was just perfect because from a bigger point of view, we were expecting for higher time frames to just continue lower, for lower time frames to continue giving garish or the flow as well, give us a mother bigger bull trap type of a situation and push towards take low and reach into the main draw liquidity. So the more confluence we can stack, the better. And here on Vice Day, we truly had a lot of things lining up to take the short position. So now again, focusing on everything that happened right here after the New York Midnight Open, notice that price during the PM hours and during the Asia range on Tuesday formed a lot of liquidity right here. And we had this higher time frame sell side liquidity pool right below. So right after the near moment open, price was dragged to the downside, took out the sell side liquidity, reacted higher. But again, when price took out this high or this high, it wasn't a shift in delivery. It was simply heading higher to run all of this buy side liquidity. This was simply a buy side liquidity pool. And we were trading inside of this bigger dealing range right here. So all that price actually did, it ran buy side liquidity into the premium of this dealing range that I showed you on the one hour time frame. Then during the near kill zone and during the RT window from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. when usually all the liquidity sweeps and strong structures form, price ran some buy side liquidity right here but of course this was a minor one the major one this buy side liquidity pool right here and the pre long one kills on buy side liquidity as well so we took out all of this buy side liquidity here climbed into the 60 minute bearish order block right here gave a sharp rejection to the downside again i will attach my analysis of what we were looking for right here on the left So I think the New York Kill Zone update for you guys was pretty clear and obvious. Overall, again, we had everything aligning from higher time frames to lower time frames. And here on the 50 minutes, we were simply waiting for price to give us this sell model right here. This market maker sell model, this being the high, this being the key factor. So you guys know that when we have a key factor, when we have a clear direction, we have some buy side liquidity. In order to continue going lower, price needs to collect some buy side liquidity and it needs to reach into the catalyst level, into the catalyst type of a PDA, which in this case was this order block right here. So price after taking the sell side liquidity, in order to continue dropping lower again, it had to reach into the level right here. So this is exactly what it did. It was drawn to the upside and on the then it was able to continue dropping lower towards the main targets. And this is where some of our long scalp positions Trading towards the main drawn liquidity, what comes to the buy side of the curve of a sell model. This is where some of our high risk type of scalp opportunities are born, but today we are not going to be talking about that. Let's stick to this development and this trade right here. So price from the top, we have buy side of the curve. Here we had sell side of the curve. This was the original consolidation right here. Price gave a very clear shift in delivery, fair value gap here on the 15 minute time frame. And when price started playing back into the fair value gap here on the 15 minute time frame, you guys know what you do. Because the time of the day right here is on our side, this is where we drop to the execution time frames looking for our entry to take place. So this is the perfect time now to drop on the execution time frames. All right, so here on the two minute time frame, notice how much buy side liquidity price built because this box indicates 5 a.m. right here, which is the end of the long wing kill zone. So this window was pretty much a liquidity building window from the end of long wing kill zone to the open of the near kill zone right here. So price built quite a lot of liquidity. Again, gave some scalping opportunities right here towards all of this buy side liquidity and towards this catalyst lower time frame PDA in order to trade to the main direction and main order flow. But again, we will not be talking about all of these scalps that happen towards all of these points right here, all of these levels and PDAs. So eventually, price ran this buy side liquidity. It topped out during the RT window. They have a shift in delivery right here on the execution timeframes, then eventually gave a shift in delivery right here on the 15 minute timeframe as well. We had this very obvious delivery to the upside. So the whole structure was 
very type of SNC-ish, very retail and stuff like that. So I personally don't why with structures like that. You guys know me, that I'm a bit more careful, a bit more patient. And then there are many, many eyes what comes to that. I don't like to be following the masses when everyone's looking to take the same short position and stuff like that, because you guys know that pretty often those type of positions don't play out, or at least it faces a few liquidity shakeout before it actually goes. So right here, I didn't take a short position here. What I did instead, I identified all of these PD rays and I wanted to see a reaction to them. And exactly that took place. So this was my first criteria right here. Notice that price nicely rejected all of these bearish PD rays, giving me a bit more trust in this development. After that, what I noticed that price is now starting to build this bull trap right here. If you would zoom in and focus on this formation right here, this is exactly what happened on the one hour time frame. Price running the sell side liquidity, running buy side liquidity, interposing PDRA, and then it drops with the main direction. So again, if he would zoom in from this high right here, notice that price drops lower, creates some liquidity, it runs the sell side, then it goes for the buy side, interposing PDRA, which was this BPR, and it starts dropping lower. So after seeing the sharp bearish reaction to these bearish PD rays here, again, I waited for a bit more and price delivered to my expectations. It gave this tiny bull trap here, rejected this BPR. And after seeing this candle close right here and price starting to push lower, this is where I entered my positions. This stop loss covering the high here and with my target aiming for the original consolidation for the fake low which was the long moon kill zone sell side liquidity right here. And as mentioned, we were moving inside of this 15 minute market maker sell model. This being the buy side of the curve, this being the sell side of the curve, and this whole consolidation here being the original consolidation. Now what comes to partials, I bind some partials around this low right here. When price took this sell side liquidity pool here, I banked quite a lot of profits inside of this area here and then left one position run towards the main target right here, placing my target slightly above it in case spreads miss it. Now for all of those who didn't get involved on this short and didn't get involved after getting this confirmation, your eye personally entered, you had another area to take your entry right here. This was pretty much one of the safest entries out of them all because we are not only moving with the higher time frame direction towards main draw liquidity right here and the lower time frame liquidity which was the original consolidation, we had ourselves a lower time frame bearish order flow. So higher time frames and lower time frames were nicely in sync. Then on execution time frames, we wanted time of the day to be on our side, which it was. And lastly, with these two entries, with this one, not really, but with this one, you had execution time frame or the flow on your side as well, because price ran lower, rejected bearish PD, ran towards sell side liquidity, left this very clear bearish order block right here. Some fair value gap as well it pulled back. So this entry would have them a completely valid short opportunity. I'm, I'm sure that some of you scaled into this position as well. Now, why I didn't take this scaled opportunity because I have my first position still running with stop at its original price. And you guys know that I didn't do that. Then I want to scale them. I need for price to move far enough from my original entry so that I can remove risk completely on my first position right here. So if the scaling would have happened around here, I would be completely okay taking it. But in this case, you can see that price pulled back very close to my position, very close to my entry. So I simply stayed away running this first position that it took right here. Now, what comes to the area where I did move my stop loss to break even was when price eventually rejected this fair value out here and broke the slope. So this was the area where I fully moved my stop loss to break even. So that is all that comes to this position. I hope it was insightful because we really touched on quite a lot of parents, fake structures, no on liquidity, higher time frame alignment, put lower time frame and execution time frames. We talked about bull traps, we talked about liquidity shakeouts, we talked about order flow confirmations, we talked about market maker sell model, we talked about how a buy side of the curve forms when it's moving towards the catalyst PDA, when it's moving higher in order to be able to move lower later on with the main direction towards the main draw liquidity and much more. So that's it. For for this one and i will talk with you very soon take care guys have a great day